Hi guys, I'm Dr. Daniele Bordonali and I am a member of Tomorrow Tooth Group. Welcome on Tomorrow Tooth channel. Today I'm going to discuss with you the coronally advanced flap for single recession treatment. The first time this kind of approach was described by Norberg in 1926, the same year in which Queen Elizabeth was born. Honestly, this was, this was a simple flap uh, move in coronal way only to cover single recession, but uh, it was never really standardized as approach. We have to wait till 1989 um, for uh, at this kind of flap uh, standardized by uh, Allen and Miller. The first thing that uh, they have done is to perform two release incision, but this release incision start from the angular point of the interested tooth from the recession. And this is the first big difference with the flap that I'm going to show you. The second important thing is that this flap was mainly used to cover only the Miller class 1 recession and